Hi. You will be surprised to know if I tell you that IELTS writing or the essay writing is not really so difficult as it is made out to be. In fact, it is an extremely simple task. The only thing required is for you to pay attention to all the requirements. So today, let's have a look at how to write a good, effective introduction for an IELTS essay. Let's get started. To write a good introduction, you need to do two things. You need to paraphrase the topic and write a thesis statement. Let's start with paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means rewriting the topic in your own words without changing the original meaning. This shows the examiner that you have understood the question and it also helps you to avoid repeating the same words. It simply means rewriting the topic in your own words, making sure that the meaning remains the same. Now let's have a look at this question. This question says, It is important for everyone, including young people, to save money for their future. This is the topic. Alright, so this is the topic. And what do we need to do with this topic? We need to tell or write whether I agree or disagree with this statement. And not only whether I agree or disagree, I also need to tell to what extent do I agree or disagree. Okay, so there are two variants in this question type. Uh, the first one is do you agree or disagree? And the second one is to what extent do you agree or disagree? You always should be very careful about this because it will come, either of these two variants might come. So you need to answer it in different ways, right? So this says, to what extent do you agree or disagree? And we need to, let's create an introduction for this. Now, when you're, we are doing this, there are certain things that we should really take care of. The first thing is uh, understanding the topic very well. Okay, so what does the topic say? It is important for everyone. Okay, who is it important for? Everyone. And then that includes youngsters to save money for their future. Do you agree or disagree? Right? So this is what we need to do. And what are we going to do for this? What, what, is, what, are my, uh, what is the thumb rule for creating an introduction? You paraphrase the topic. So what are we going to paraphrase? We are going to paraphrase this topic and then after that we will write the thesis statement. Right? Okay, let's move ahead then and get on with this one. Now let's try to paraphrase this particular topic. Here is the original one. It is important for everyone, including young people, to save money for their future. This was the original one. Let's see how it has been paraphrased. And here is the paraphrased version. It says, saving money for the future is crucial for all individuals, especially the younger generation. Right? So, look at that. Everything remains the same. The meaning remains the same. Only the words have changed. The meaning has not changed. We have not added anything into it. We have not deleted anything into it, from it. Right? It remains the same. And this is, and how beautifully written in such simple language it has been written. Right? So, this is how you should be doing your paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is actually a very easy thing. It's just that, you know, we think too much and then we create a mess within our own mind and that, that mess spills over onto the answer sheet. Okay, it's actually really very easy. Next comes your thesis statement. Now, what is a thesis statement? It is a sentence that very clearly indicates your position, which means which side are you on? Are you on the agreeing side or are you on the disagreeing side? Right? So, that needs to be given very, very clearly to the reader. Okay? This sentence also 
gives the information to the reader or your examiner as to what to expect in your essay. It actually is going to give a direction to the rest of your essay, right? And since this question, this particular question that we are working on uh, is asking you to agree or disagree, your thesis statement should reflect, okay, your thesis statement must reflect your opinion. That is really very, very important in this one. Another important thing is whenever you're when you're making this decision, whether you want to be on the agreeing agreement side or the disagreement side, make sure would, whichever side you choose, you should be able to explain that or expand that in the paragraphs, in the coming body paragraphs, along with an example. Right. So you need to be prepared for all those things. That, ki that kind of uh, activity will be covered or how to, you know, prepare for an essay would be covered or has been. There is uh, a video which is known as content generation. You can go there and watch that one. So in that, I have discussed in detail how to generate content before you start writing. And in that, you will understand how to take a side. Okay, how to choose a side. Fine. So for now, let's look at some examples. All right, so here is an example of a thesis statement. So here he says, I completely agree. Now here he has taken his side. Which side is he on? He's on the agreement side. So he says, I completely agree that it is essential for everyone, particularly young people, to save money for their future. Right, so he's saying I completely. This is where, where he's giving his extent. Okay, I completely agree. The difference between agree, disagree and, uh, you know, to what extent do you agree or disagree is just this one tiny little word, completely. Okay. Or you can also say I partially, if you want to take both the sides, if you want to be like, you know, 50% on one side and 50% on another side, you can just say I partially agree to this. Okay. Here this person is completely agreeing and uh, he's specifically saying that it is essential for everyone, particularly young people to save money for their future. And then here is the thesis statement. This part is the thesis. This is your paraphrasing. And the next part from here to here, okay, is your thesis statement, wherein he's telling what is he going to talk about. This one. This essay will discuss the importance of financial planning and the benefits it brings. Fine. So that is your thesis statement. So the first we did the paraphrasing. Now we did the thesis statement. <clears throat> Let's move on. <clears throat> Here are the two ways that you can write the thesis statement. The first one, the one we did just now. Okay. Example number one is wherein you are agreeing. And this is what it would look like. Okay. I completely agree that it is essential for everyone, particularly young people, to save money for their future. This essay will discuss the importance of financial planning and the benefits it brings. This is the one that we just completed. But you might want to disagree also. Fine. Everybody cannot agree. It's all everybody's viewpoint, right? So for the one who's, who wants to disagree, this could be a good example. Let's read this. So I disagree with the notion that saving money should be a priority for everyone, including young people. So it is I mean, it's almost the same. Only thing is he is disagreeing and here he gives his reason. So this essay will argue that enjoying life and gaining experiences are more important during one's youth. Right. So this is what his viewpoint is. So if you look at this, the viewpoint has changed here. The view is totally different if he is agreeing and here the view is totally different. This is what you have to make sure you have to give your point of view. And this is the point of view which you will carry down into your body paragraphs and explain it in detail. Fine. We look at that when we are doing the body paragraphs. Right. For now, let's move on and let's have a look at how your paraphrasing and your thesis statement look together. Now, here is your paraphrasing. Right. Saving money for the future is crucial for all individuals, especially the younger generation. This was the paraphr paraphrasing that we did earlier. And here is your thesis statement. 
I completely agree. This part is your opinion. Okay. Because the question is also asking you for your opinion. This is an opinion question. Okay. And this is your thesis. I completely agree that it is essential for everyone, particularly young people, to save money for their future. This essay will discuss the importance of financial planning and the benefits it brings. Okay, so here this particular sentence or this particular part is giving the information to the examiner that this is what I am going to discuss in my body paragraphs. What is he going to discuss? The importance of financial planning and the benefits that that kind of planning will bring. So what will happen in his body paragraph 1? He will discuss about the importance of financial planning. In his body paragraph 2, he will discuss the benefits that come from it. And then of course the conclusion. Right? 